everyone. I'm Julie Ireland. I am a GTD coach, and I wanted to talk about a question that shows up very, very frequently in coaching conversations, which is, what's the best way to track recurring tasks? And, you know, as with most things, productivity lies, there's a lot of nuance in it. So I thought it would be good to address this just in case anyone is curious about this. The first option that I recommend that is pretty road tested, works really well, is to use the calendar. It's a thing most of us are looking at throughout the day. And for any recurring task that is somewhat quick, I find it's really easy to just use the all day event feature of the calendar. So it sits at the top of the calendar. It's not interfering with any meetings or appointments or anything time specific. As an example, I have a prescription that I take. And so I have a recurring rem quarterly reminder in my calendar to take that prescription. Then I also have a reminder that's two weeks prior to every dose, which is to call a specialty pharmacy to order that prescription. As much as I've tried to automate that, it's just not there yet. So I need to make that phone call. Once I call them, they order it. That gets all set in motion. So I have two reminders quarterly for that prescription, one on the date to take it and the other two weeks prior to make sure it's ordered and I'm going to have it available. I just find those kinds of things sitting at the top of my calendar work really well. Where that doesn't necessarily work as if the task is going to take longer than say 30 minutes and or maybe it might be a little bit cognitively intensive. So kind of bending the GTD rules a little bit and actually scheduling a time like an appointment with myself to do that. So it's like a little bit of an insurance policy. Then the second option that I that I have kind of uncovered and it's also very well road tested is for a client that is, you know, using a list manager to actually make a, a separate list called recurring tasks. So and I have a lot of clients that prefer that option because they have then a list of all of their recurring tasks in one place, which you kind of lose if you're using they're like me and they're scattered throughout the calendar. It's a little bit tiniest bit, I would say, more manually intensive to do the recurring task because you absolutely have to look at it every day. And then second, like if you, you know, you have a recurring task that to do every August 29th and you, you do, you do the task and you check it off. It comes right back as recurring. Now it's the date is September 29th. So you just have to be careful that like, you're like, oh, I actually think I, I did do that, but now it's I'm not due again until September 29th. So you just have to be a little bit more mindful about that. But for the value of having that list, if here's all my recurring stuff, and I love the optics of seeing that in all in one place, option two might be better for you. And then the third option is to just use a completely separate mechanism for it, like an app. That's just like the Reminders app, which is built into the Apple iOS iPhone, is kind of designed for that. You can set a date reminder, a time reminder, and even a location reminder. Now, once again, now you have it in a separate place, but I do have some clients that just love to have all their recurring things in one separate app. I'd love to hear uh, if anyone has any other suggestions. So as always, I hope it's helpful. Please feel free to leave a comment. And thanks again for watching. For more GTD resources, please visit gettingthingsdone.com and David Allen's YouTube channel. For more information, please email us at info at gtdfocus.com or visit our website, gtdfocus.com forward slash contact.